Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Lately I've been testing many different filters for monochrome cameras for deep sky photography as I recently switched to a monochrome IMX571 sensor so I needed bigger size filters to work with the camera and this time I actually got a chance to work with two inch filters made by SV Boini. In particular these are narrow band filters with 5 nanometer band pass and I got hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2 and oxygen 3 filters. Uh, basically, I was reached out by Amazon department of SV Boini. They asked me to take a look at the filters, see what images can be taken and share my thoughts through a video. The video you're watching now is just an introduction video. We're gonna unbox filters, see what's inside. Uh, we'll set up the telescope and this part will be interesting since I don't have currently available filter wheel that's gonna fit 2 inch filters, but still we'll see how it goes. And uh, finally, if weather cooperates, I'm gonna take my first light images using it. It's also a bit hard right now since I have really bright moon in the sky, but we'll see actually how narrowband filters perform during bright moon, so that part also should be interesting. Uh, stick around guys if you're interested in watching this video and let's start with unboxing. This is how packaging of SV Boni narrowband filters looks like. These all filters, they're sulfur 2, hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 filters. Packaging look exactly the same. The only difference you can say about these filters is by their SQ number. The last letters, they're different on these filters. And as my understanding, A stands for sulfur filter, B stands for hydrogen alpha filter, and C stands for oxygen 3 filter. All right, so pretty much that's what you get in all packaging boxes. They all look identical. The only difference is that each filter is designed for its own transmission. Each of them is provided with an example of transmission curve. And inside of each box, you get all the filters. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's take out hydrogen alpha filter as an example. You can see that on the edge of the filter, it says as a Boini hydrogen of 5 nanometer filter, exactly the same idea is for the other two filters. Oxygen 3 5 nanometer filter, and we also got sulfur 2 filter. The way I will be testing these filters, so at the moment I don't have a filter wheel that is available to test these filters, but as a Boini, they also send me this uh, filter drawer to test and to use with the filters. So let's quickly unbox this one. Now, filter drawer is basically an adapter that you install between the camera and uh, uh, your telescope. And instead of mounting the filters either on your camera or on your telescope and taking everything off, you can use a filter drawer. And it looks pretty simple. Uh, I was really surprised actually about the size of the packaging for the filter drawer. You can say it's kind of easy tool, but oh boy, there's a lot of packaging here. Anyway, for filter drawer, we got Allen key. Then there is an adapter ring. I believe it's M42 female to M48 male thread. Then we got Oh, it's, everything's pretty secured. We got the filter drawer itself, and what I can say right away, it's pretty heavy uh, compared to a filter drawer from ZWO that I have. So that's the filter drawer. Hidden key and the ring we're gonna leave in the packaging. And there is also something else we got. Oh, there is another adapter. So basically in the version of the filter I got there is a 2 inch slider for the filter and let's see there is another one. Oh. So the slider has magnetic connection here and what I must admit is the connection is way too strong which is good. You don't want your slider to fall off accidentally during the imaging session and uh, yep, the connection is pretty secured, which is good. Now, the filter drawer from Asiboni also comes with this adapter. So this is 
a thread for an inch and quarter filters and if you want you can easily unscrew it and you have a two inch thread now pretty flexible in my opinion this side is the one that you connect to your camera this side is the one that connect to a telescope side we got m42 male thread on this side and m48 female thread on this side uh, talking about the camera that i'll be using to test these filters is actually this SV Boini SV605 MC. So this is a monochrome camera that has a square sensor and I'll be using this one to test my SV Boini filters. Let's actually connect all things together. So here is an extension ring that came in with SV605 MC camera. Now we're installing the filter drawer like so. Now, the only thing when you work with filter drawers, you want to be really careful and do everything slowly because you don't want to touch um, the surface of the filter with your fingers. Otherwise, it's really hard sometimes to uh, take care of things and clean everything up. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Okay, so a filter drawer is installed on camera and I have my first hydrogen alpha filter installed as well. Um, I'm going to connect this camera to my telescope and uh, hope maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow I'm going to have a clear skies and I will be able to take my first images using it. My test rig for tonight includes uh, Skywatcher EOSTAR 80D telescope. This is actually my first uh, telescope that I got for like a serious deep sky photography. Here I also got 0.85x focal reducer and flattener. SV Boini SV605 MC is my imaging camera that has IMX 533 sensor. Uh, of course I have a guiding here using actually SV Boini a mini guide scope. Here I got 224MC guide camera and the whole rig is kind of automated since I have the flat panel, the rotator and uh, electronic focuser here. Uh, in the past I used this telescope to take some of my images of Andromeda Galaxy, of Pleiades. So all these pieces of equipment they helped a lot and I kind of didn't take everything apart so I'm going to use exactly the same setup but a different camera and most importantly for this video is I'm going to use my new SV Boini filters so we'll see how it goes. And now talking about the target I'm planning to take images of the Rosette Nebula also known as NGC 2244 which basically a star cluster that is located uh, within the nebula uh, and of course I have a really bright moon in the sky tonight that will affect my narrowband imaging but we'll still see how it goes and uh, I guess I'm gonna see you at the night time. Alrighty here is my first exposure taken through SV Boini filter and this one is captured under 95% illuminated moon. Well, that looks pretty good considering the light pollution. Hmm, I have a bit of a problem with stars. I think I'm gonna <laughs> wait for my next exposure as it's either wind or something outside. Alright, there is my second exposure and it looks much better in terms of star shapes. As you can see there is no issues uh, with guiding and uh, Considering that it was taken under 95% illuminated moon, I think that looks pretty good. Of course, I'm gonna take images through hydrogen alpha filter without moon, but I gotta wait, well, at least a week or a week and a half before taking these images, and that's actually gonna be in my next video. But yep, as of now, uh, this is how everything looks like. So we just looked at filters, what you get in the box, I set up the telescope, and here is my first uh, result taken using just one filter at the moment but that's just the start and we'll see how this filter perform in future. Mm -hmm. 